out on the sea Searching for something that really found me I didn't know it, but it drew me to it Soon I was full of its passion in me I'm Italo Levigna. 40 years I've fished the world and have learned it's not just about catching the fish, the size of the fish or the numbers. It's about appreciating every sunrise and sunset, the smell of the sea, savoring the culture and the fish with friends. Here's the catch. It's the total experience. Presented by Bear Reels, versatile precision handcrafted hybrid center fins, hooked on MFS quality fishing tackle, Seabreeze Boats, Tame the Oceans, and Barlow's Caribbean Cuisine with a Southern Twist. I've got three days to fish, and I've got one plan. And that's to get out with my good friend Tyler DeGraff to hook up on some monster tarpon. Tarpon love mullet as a meal, and Tyler went out yesterday afternoon to catch some fresh mullet with a cast net to keep on ice and use as cut bait today. Tarpon do a lot of feeding at night, so our strategy is to start early. Besides, they're calling for strong winds later in the day. We meet at daybreak, load the boat up, and put out of a canal. Our captain for the day is Robert McHugh, who has over 30 years experience tarpon fishing. Captain Rob's strategy is to try and spot tarpon surfacing, anchor ahead of them, and start baiting. As we're running, I'm looking at the skies and it doesn't look promising. Clouds are already building up and I can feel the breeze getting stronger. We slow down, Tyler starts rigging lines, Captain Rob starts looking for fish. No signs of tarpon, so we putt-putt to another location. We anchor, Tyler starts cutting up mullet, we start fishing again. We chum, bait up, right off the bat we start hooking sharks that break us off. Shark. Shark. Tyler finally fights the shark for a few minutes on a long Enigma jetty rod that puts up a decent fight. Tyler, give it stick. He's on. Look at you. You look like you're fishing with an ultralight. That I rod know. is so long, 11 feet, light action. He's got good action, huh? Yep. Look, Tyler, here's your friend. This is a damselfly that was on Tyler's shoulder. I wonder if we can do it. It's like the parrot and the, <laughs> is it gonna, look at, there it is, perfect. Don't hurt it, okay? Let's see All what right, you got. It's coming. I haven't seen any silver. How does that rod feel, by the way? <laughs> Feels good. Feel okay? I heard that the guys flip like 25 pound jacks when they're fishing off the jetty right up on shore. You want to flip this one? How are you going to land it? Uh, we're going we're gonna to take a lasso and we're going to just try to rope it. Uh, it's the best way okay. to ensure its survival. It's such a pretty fish. He's got the potential of getting what, 100, 200 pounds? Bigger? A bull shark could get up to 450, 500 pounds some, in some ways, yeah. yeah. Uh, doesn't, he know, doesn't he know we're not out for him? Okay. <laughs> let's go through the rod. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, it's okay. We'll work right. with this one. Don't worry about that. <laughs> He's just saying hello. I see this is really easy. Oh, that's fun. There we go. Nice release. Perfect. Did that get you in the head? No. No. Oh, that one didn't get me in the head this time. We get the shark <laughs> beside the boat. Tyler gets ready to noose it, to remove the hook, and of course, it gets off. It's one of those days. Tyler keeps chumming, we hook more sharks, lose a bunch of hooks and leaders, and there's no sign of Mr. Tarpon. After 10 hours of trying our best, we wave the white flag and surrender. Day two, okay, okay, plan B. We're determined to hook a tarpon. We start early, it's even windier. This time, we're fishing out of Tyler's 26-foot boat. Deja vu, we cut bait, look for fish, try our hardest. <laughs> This time, because of bad conditions, we don't even get a single bite. Ever feel like someone is trying to give you a message?
Fast forward day three. I hate to say it, plan C. Forget about the tarpon, we're starting before daylight. Meeting Don Cassavoy, his son Nathan, and their friend Stuart. And we are putting all our money on getting out 60 miles and bottom fishing for some chunky grouper and snapper. We get out there, find good structure in about 150 feet of water, cut up some frozen sardines, rig them on a double hook rig, lower the lines down. In no time, we are hooking up. Stuart, Stuart starts things off by hooking a trophy grouper on a vertical jigging spoon. You know what, Stuart? We've only known each other a little bit, and I'm already looking up to you. <laughs> uh, you can come join me up here. Good fish. I like that you got it on the spinning outfit. Yeah. More sportsman-like, you know? Gives a little better workout, right? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I got a feeling it might be a red grouper. What do you think? I'm thinking so. Yeah. Seems to be fine. And that's OK. Yeah, when you pull it from that deep of water, it's a long fight. Look right there. Yeah, yeah. Looks like a cobia. That's yep. a remora. 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 Yep. It's probably picked up the scraps that we threw in. I like the way you're putting your back into it, using those big muscles. Well, I see a lot of other muscles on the boat. I could <laughs> probably use someone's help. You're doing good. Nice fish. Beautiful. That's the air bladder coming out of it because he got it so deep. Beautiful grouper. Yeah, you hooked it well. It wasn't going to get off. Funny, eh? we're running bait, and you're running the vertical jigging spoon. Good job. Good job. OK, here you go. Can you, are you OK? Do you have enough energy left? You know what? I think <laughs> I got just enough. OK, perfect. There you go. Good sign. Next, we start hooking up red snapper. Nice sized red snapper. Bomb that fish, bomb that fish. Tyler, I've taken the drag off. Have you? It's hand to hand combat. <laughs> I'm just in free spool mode. Every once in a while, you know, you want that knuckle buck buster effect. Snap, snap. Oh yeah, feels good. It's not big, that's why. Otherwise, yeah. I'd have the drag engaged. They like sardines, eh? Those are big sardines, by the way. They're whoppers. You sure should be going limp. Can you feel your jig? OK. Well, you got a little red snapper. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. Come here. Nice fish. Beautiful. They're so bright and colorful. Could be a keeper, too. He could be, but you know what? It's his lucky day. So you got to vent them. Well, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is just puncture the air bladder. Mm -hmm. So I can do it from this side. I got my little pocket knife. That's one thing when you get fish so deep. The bladder will heal very quickly. There. If I toss him, he should take off. Look at. You can see why they call him a red snapper. Here we go, baby. Dive, dive. That's it. Perfect. Stewart, have you got a keeper on? You know what? I really hope so. How come you're breathing heavy? Like, what's with that? <laughs> you look like you're in pretty good shape. Do you exercise? All the time. Out here? Like 60 miles out? Oh, uh, you know, I should do this more often. <laughs> it's been a pleasure fishing with you guys. You know, a lot of times when I talk to people when they hook a fish, they can't really respond intelligently, so you're doing really good. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a nice snapper. A beautiful snapper. OK, let's lift him up. Good. Yeah, gorgeous fish. Beauty. Look at this. Nice fish. Don's got one over here, too. Man, we can't keep him off our lines. This guy took it pretty deep. Yeah. I think so. Beautiful. Look at how brilliant these are. Gorgeous fish that you get out here. A lot of times they'll be in deeper water. So you got to come out a long way to get them, but it's worth it. OK, ready? He should take off. That's a gorgeous red snapper. Look at how bright he is. Great eating fish. OK, buddy. Go down to the bottom. Come on, go, 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 go. Kick it in, kick it in. Come on, come on, you can do it. Come on, that water's so clear, there he goes. He just got to get like, you know, what's that called? Like motivated, you right. know, to go down. Perfect, OK, grab another one. Take your time, OK, I won't bait up. Out of courtesy to you. 
We're gonna go back to that spot. You're doing great. So work great. Out. You're doing great. <clears throat> I don't know if, if I'm gonna get used to this Captain Tyler. Can I still call you Tyler? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay, Captain. Oh, oh snapper. snapper. Nice one. It's not a red, is it? It's a red snapper. It's a red. That's okay. It's a nice one. Yeah, bring it over. Gorgeous. Four pounds. You know, guys that love to eat them would go, wow, it's a nice snapper, but we know what? We're throwing them back. Here, you get the hook out. I'll uh, make sure that he can get down there. All right. He's been eating well. Look at full tummy. Oh, yeah. Okay, make sure to get him nice and high in the water so he flops and dives down. Oh. Over there. You're just a 12 inches shy of making the water. <laughs> you let me know if you find the spines, OK? Uh, I already did. You've been spined before? Oh, yeah. That's so cool. There he is, Look right at there. Look gorgeous. Look at those stripes. He's looking at us, too. Look at him. Uh-huh. He knows what's going Beautiful. on. Beautiful. Ready? Come on. There, there he goes. goes. Well done. Oh, it's still there? Yeah. Jeez. All right. You know, they're messing around over there. I'm quietly here in the shade. And I got another fish on. Maybe that's for a snapper. I'm actually on the shady side of the boat here. So you've got this nice bimini top. I let all the young kids on the other side, you know? It's just adults, Don and I here. Kind of just shooting the breeze. Is your line in the water, Don? Yeah, you don't have your line in the water? Okay. I'm hoping it's a snapper, but I don't know. Funny, fighting funny. Usually the first 30 feet or so when you're like in 100 plus feet of water are the most critical. That's when the fish have the most strength. Then when you start to get them up close to the surface, they kind of lose their energy. And it looks like it's uh, another vermilion. Nice fish. They are so bright. Yeah, they're gorgeous. I'm going to hold them out here in the sunshine so you can appreciate the colors on this guy. Look at they got a big eye, which tells me that their eyesight is really good. Look at how bright the colors are. Look at that tail. Man, it's like somebody brush stroked them. Gorgeous fish. That was a sardine, just like yours. And he grabbed it because he's on the second hook. Come on, settle down. It's another nice fish for the box. After two days of no action, it's awesome to hook fish. Vermilion snapper are bright and true to their colors. Beautiful fish and excellent fighters. To add to the mix, I hook a hard fighting snapper that ends up to be a good sized mangrove nice snapper. I think that's going to be part of our dinner. What does Tyler have to say? Uh, I'm going to get mine in before yours. Grouper? I don't know. Ooh, you got a nice mangrove snapper. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Oh, I love mangroves. Look at him. Oh, yeah. That's a real nice, nice one. Fish. Don't lose it. He's barely hooked. I try to lift him up. If he falls off, he gets off. That's a nice mangrove. Nice Look at that. One. Uh, this might be our dinner fish. I don't know. We'll have to see. It'll be a toss-up between this and a, and a grouper. Got to be careful, because these guys have sharp spines. Yeah, they're prized eating fish. Hooked so lightly. Come on, what do you got? Bring yours up. I don't know what I got yet. Look at, look at the fangs this guy's got. They get big. Sometimes, you know, these guys, some of them, their strain can get up to like 100 pounds, and they call them kuberas. But you can see those fangs right in front of his mouth. When he wants something, he just pins it and holds on to it. Tyler, do you have the pliers there? Uh, he, he, he held down for a little bit. <sighs> this guy's going in the cooler. Look at beautiful colors. Ah, stay there. Look at gorgeous, gorgeous snapper. What do you got, Nate? Great eating size. We're getting such a nice variety of fish out here. No, no. It's heavy. It's a lot of head shakes, huh? It's big, it's heavy. Let's put this red snapper back. All right. He took you down there. You got him out of the rocks, huh? You did good. Come on, get him. You got him off the bottom. You got the hard part done. Take your time. Get him, Nate. Get him, Nate. Nate, what a go. Give him, don't give up, don't let him rest. Lots All right, he's good. rocked up. You need some help? He's a little rocked up. You want me to show you how to get him out? Uh, All right. Okay, Tyler, give him a hand. All Captain right. Captain Tyler. What you do, give him slack. 
put your drag all the way back down, crank down on it, you get tight. Pisses them off. Get them up, get them up. If anybody can do it, you can do it, Tyler. <laughs> Try it again. Plan B. <laughs> Get him up? Yeah, come here, Nate. Okay, Nate. Oh, I just gotta get off the bottom for him. Come on, come on, come on, pump him. <sighs> pump him some more. I don't know if he's out. I think he is. All keep, right, here, keep Nate. It going. Keep it going, keep it going. Actually, help <clears throat> Nate by lifting it up. Nate, right. got it? Okay, up. Pick it up, reel down. Yep. We got him out of the rocks. Okay. Teamwork, I like this. There you go. You got him, Nate. There. Yeah. <laughs> Worry about the reel. I got the rod. Let go of the rod. Is that easier? Yeah. It's a big fish, Nate. Yeah. Might be a big gag, big red grouper. Look at all. That's the bubbles from the fish. It's releasing. Boy, you don't have them on by much. Try to get them right in the head. Yeah, that's a good one. Beautiful. What a nice grouper. Nate, good job. Good job. Beautiful grouper. Here, you want to grab your fish, Nate? You better use two hands, right Nate. There. Yeah, yeah, you got to watch right the gill rakers. Right in here, look it. <laughs> <laughs> to top our outing off, Nathan, the youngest angler, hooks the biggest grouper. It's a real nice fish, Nate. There you go. You bent your hook out. Look what you got here. Real nice fish. Proud of it? Oh, yeah. Awesome, let's put them in the core. Fishing done, time to head on in. Get to the house, start cleaning fish, and get cooking. Closed captioning brought to you by Leguano, natural barefoot technology for every adventure. Tonight we're going to have fresh snapper done Tyler style. I start by carefully inserting the fillet knife down the back and defining the outline of the fillet. Next, I carefully separate the fillet from the vertebrae all the way down to the rib cage. Three snappers should be more than enough fish for Tyler and I. Next, I proceed to fillet the mangrove snapper. Mangroves have thick skin and scales. That's when it's important to have a really sharp knife. I fillet all three snapper, carefully remove the skin so that I have as much meat on the fillet, rinse them off, and it's time for Chef Tyler to take over. While the barbecue is heating up, Chef Tyler takes the fillets and marinates them in a Ziploc bag with a special jerk seasoning we've prepared. While the fillets are marinating, Tyler cuts up some butter into slices, cuts up a lemon and places both in an aluminum cooking tray on the bottom. The snapper fillets are placed in the tray and Tyler squeezes fresh lemon over them. You think Tyler likes butter? Yep. He puts additional butter slices on top of the fillets and then sprinkles a special seasoning over the fish. The tray is covered with foil and placed in the preheated barbecue for about 20 minutes. While the fish is cooking, I prepare our risotto, fresh corn on the cob, and a light carrot salad. Tyler checks the fish and we are ready for a feast. Tyler, normally, you know, we we go to a restaurant or something after these fishing. Oh yeah. We're two crazy fishermen, right? <laughs> Scramble home, clean the fish. I like our deal though, you know, that you'd cook it. So tell me what you did to the fish after you got it from me, after I filleted it. Uh, basically, I just uh, marinated it. Um, I added a little butter to the bottom of the tray. I put the fish on top. Uh, put a little bit more butter on top. I like butter. <laughs> I like butter too. Um, seasons it very, very lightly. Um, just a little bit of lemon and I covered it up and I let it, uh, let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes at, uh, about 400 to 450. Um, and it looks like it cooked very well. Wow, look, we got a nice assortment. This is a really healthy meal. We've got some risotto with cheese and egg. We've got some carrots that are done in a salad, corn, and the fresh fish. So Tyler, we might as well start eating here before it gets cold. Um, when was the last time you rode that far? We went out like 60 miles today. 
Uh, I was actually out last week. I um, mean, we did real well. Um, Same thing. Grouper, grouper snapper. snapper. Uh, the only difference today is the mahi showed up, and that was the, that was a great. That was plus. pretty exciting. Yeah, it was really one cool. came flying out of the water. Definitely. But you know, we got to tell everybody that uh, it's been tough fishing. It has definitely. The winds kept us off the water. We went for tarpon with uh, Robert, the guide, and all we got was sharks. You had the yeah. shark on that you lost. The tarpon were like radio silent. They weren't showing up, they weren't on top, they weren't down below. Exactly, we couldn't find them. So I didn't know if they adjusted now. Yep. So thank goodness that the weather calmed down and we were able to get out today that far. Oh yeah, definitely. And I mean that whole team, Don, Stewart, Nate, they were awesome on the boat today. Definitely. It was a little bit chaotic, you know, yeah. we got so many fish, but that's the kind of fishing it is, right? We got some big grouper. Yeah, Naked. you said normally when you get on the spot, first drop, that's when they usually hit. You don't have to like wait half an hour. Oh yeah. Um, usually you fish out a spot uh, just in just a little bit of time, so your your best bites are going to be uh, your one or first one or two drops. Now, how come we didn't get any shark hit our fish or any goliaths? Uh, we're not fishing any wrecks. Um, usually sharks hang out more on wrecks and real, real hard bottom. Uh, we're fishing a lot of rock piles and ledges and just smaller pieces of bottom that hold snapper and grouper, and it's just not really a place to attract predators. So if somebody wants to go there, do they just have to write you to get the coordinates? or? <laughs> yeah, yeah no, those no. are real private. Oh, I can imagine. <laughs> so listen, enjoy your meal. You fished hard. Yes, sir. The sun's just going down. I, I don't think you can see the sky. Look at the colors of that sky. Wow, purple, it's pink, Florida blue. Colors. You won't see that anywhere else. No, and the crickets are starting to get louder. Yep. And now it's real peaceful. Nobody's cutting the grass, anything. And for Pete's sake, we're having dinner in the boat. I know. I mean, how's that? One day I wandered out on the sea Searching for something that really found me I didn't know it, but it drew me to it Soon I was full of its passion in me I'm Italo Lavigna. 40 years I've fished the world and have learned it's not just about catching the fish, the size of the fish, or the numbers. It's about appreciating every sunrise and sunset, the smell of the sea, savoring the culture and the fish with friends. Here's the catch. It's the total experience. Presented by Bear Reels, versatile, precision, handcrafted hybrid center fins, hooked on MFS, quality fishing tackle, Seabreeze Boats, Tame the Oceans, and Farlow's Caribbean Cuisine with a Southern Twist.